Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix GPU failed with error code 0x887A0006 or if you're receiving this error that is 0x887A0005. So if you're receiving these errors, then please follow the steps shown in this video. The first step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows settings and then go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Now, once you click on check for update, once all the updates are installed over here, then restart the computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to complete all phase of Seder's building. Now, for this, when you launch the game, if it is here you can see building setters so make make sure this is complete including including stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 so in case if you have skipped if you have skipped it in, in that case uh, you can go to settings so if you have skipped you can go to features and then go to video settings scroll down over here you can see build setters so you can click on it and let the uh, building status complete including stage 3 so once this is complete now you can check still not working the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website so once you go to the website you can select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system over here then click on start search and then you, you can download the latest one and then run the exe file and once you run the exe file you click on yes to allow click on ok agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and then you can check now amd card users uh, can go to amd website And then select your graphic card uh, i don't have amd graphic card this is just an example so select your graphic card over here now once you select your graphic card select your operating system and then you can install the latest one click on download and once the download is complete uh, now before you install this first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver and then after the uninstall restart your computer and then you can install this driver and then you can check now run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder select this game exe file click on open click on add once the game is added over here now click on the game and over here select high performance and also add this one the first start protected game and once it is added now for NBA 2K26, you can click on it and select high performance. Now for many users, uh, the latest graphic card driver is not working. So in that case, you can roll back graphics card driver. NVIDIA users uh, can go select your graphic card and then uh, you can try maybe the previous one right now is 581.15. You can try 581.08. If that does not work, you can even try this 577. Dot zero zero download it but when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart is a must after the system restart launch the game now amd card users if if the current graphic card driver that is 25.8.1 is not working and i think this is a known issue right now um, nba for nba 2k26 they, there is a known issue with 25.8.1 so if you go to amd website for this uh, the, the latest one 25.8.1 for amd redon 9060 if you scroll down under known issue here you can see intermittent application crash may be observed while playing nba 2k26 in career mode so uh, in this case you can try to roll back in graphics card driver and then check case uh, you can scroll down on this page after you select your graphic card your operating system scroll down and then click on previous versions and then you can select your operating system and you can roll back to the uh, previous drivers maybe 25.6.1 or maybe 25.626 6.2 so roll back try earlier version and then once you 
install it, restart your computer, restart it a must, and after the system restart, you can launch the game. This has worked for a few players, so it might work for you. So make sure that you roll back to the previous version and then check. Next step is to you can skip this step if you're not able to if you're not able to go to the settings. But if you're able to go to the settings, you can uh, turn on turn on or turn off the VSync, turn off ray tracing. Now, if the VSync is already on, you can turn it off. If you if the VSync is already off, you can turn it on and then check. Turn off ray tracing, turn off HDR. You can even try window mode, lower down resolution, and then you can check. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to features and then go to video settings over here. And over here, you can try window mode. You can switch to window mode and then check. You can also lower down resolution. Now, if this is set to 4K, uh, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. Now, over here, resolution scaling method. Uh, if you are selecting NVIDIA DLSS, make sure that you set it to quality over here. And then check now you can even uh, if that does not work you can uh, turn off upscale and then you can check the v-sync uh, if this is on you can turn it off and then check scroll down and turn off HDR turn off ray tracing over here and overall quality uh, in my case uh, if this is set to like ultra you can set it to high you can even go for medium and then you can check the performance. Now the next step is to turn on or turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this you can type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop as uh, sorry click on advanced graphics settings over here and then over here if hardware accelerated GPU scheduling if this is on you can turn this off now launch the game again and then check if if that does not work if the if it is already off in that case you can turn turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check now nvidia users open nvidia control panel so you can go to desktop make a right click in the desktop show more option and then click on nvidia control panel and once it is open uh, you can go to help and then try debug mode over here select debug mode and then you can relaunch the game and then check Next step is to rename or delete the video settings file. When you delete it, uh, you will lose all the saved settings and uh, it might build status again. Now, for this, you can open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open Users folder, open your username folder, now open App Data. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View, select Show, put a on Hidden Items, and then open App Data folder, Local folder, 2K Sports folder, find it. And then here you can see NBA 2K26. You can just uh, you can make a right click. You can rename it or you can even delete it and then relaunch the game. It and let the status complete and then you can check. Now the next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound. Go to power options. Over here, uh, if you see power saver, in my case. Uh, I have only uh, one option but in your case if you see power saver like this uh, let me show you so in your case you might see this uh, power saver you can select power saver and you can even go for balance and high performance but first of all try power saver relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, if you're using Intel Extreme Tuning Utility software, in that case, you can lower down performance score ratio to maybe 55x, 54x, or 53x, and you can check. So, if you're using uh, Intel, if you're not using, you can just. So, you can go to this software and you can lower down performance score ratio and then hit apply and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to try DX12 or DX11 in the launch option. Make a right click in the game, select properties. Over here, you can type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12, launch the game and then check. And still not working, you can remove the launch option and follow the next step. Now, the next step is to 
increase the virtual memory now for this you can type in view advanced system settings over here click on it and then under under advanced click on first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here uncheck this box select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom over here and for initial size you can try this if this does not work we can revert back so for initial size 1.5 multiplied total ram you can check total ram in uh, system and then you can go to about in my case the total ram is 16 gigabytes so whichever uh, you have to calculate as per your ram in my case it's 16 so for 16 and uh, it's 16 multiplied 1024 in megabyte multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 24576 and for maximum size 3 multiplied total ram that is total ram is 16 multiplied 1024 in megabyte multiplied 3 that is 491524 49152 and then click on set over here set is important make sure that you click on set and then click on ok ok relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then restart your computer once and then check again not working view advanced system settings first settings advanced change try system managed size and then click on set set is important click on ok ok apply ok ok and then restart your computer after the system restart launch the game now still not working then you can revert to default so for default you can just select this put a check over here automatic and then click on ok ok and follow the next step now the next step is to update the BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a Dell computer go to Dell if you have a Lenovo computer go to Lenovo website so whichever brand you have go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the BIOS in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS after the BIOS update log into the computer and then launch the game now the last step is to do not overclock if you have overclocked your computer set it to default close all the overclocking applications like msi afterburner river tuner and then check try launching the game on single monitor if you have multiple monitor setup try launching the game on single monitor so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the gpu error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel